going to be learning a lot about the short-term medical uh, side of things. So without further ado, I would love to introduce our special guest, Bobby Joe, which I love your name, Bobby Joe with Golden Rule of a United Healthcare Company. Thank you so much. I am so happy to be here today. So thank you to Elder Care to giving me this opportunity today to talk a little bit about uh, short term and tri term similar products in the individual under 65 market space mm -hmm. and uh, really talk about the final ruling uh, and what it means to you as a broker who may have been selling this product or if not, um, what we should be doing before the final ruling take place. So, right. And there's a lot of people on here that says no knowledge, refresh. Um, I know a lot of you on here are selling Medicare only products. So just know that this is an amazing opportunity uh, for you to start offering these products as well, because if you're only offering those Medicare products and you're possibly leaving some money on the table for those spouses who aren't quite on Medicare yet. So please ask any questions that you have. We want you to leave today confident in these products um, and know everything that you need to know about being successful selling them. Yeah, we won't go through a deep, deep dive product training today, but it'll at least pique your interest if it is something that will work within your business model. And then we can always circle back and work more on a deeper dive training. So um, for today, I'm going to take it away by uh, sharing with you our quick agenda. Again, I just want to back up a little bit and talk what about what is short term, what is tri term. Um, and then talk about the short-term federal ruling and what that means, how do we prepare for it, and what should we be doing post the ruling time frame. And that's where Health Protector Guard, one of our products, comes into play as a huge opportunity. And then I do want to share some information as it relates to our ancillary portfolio and just bring awareness to it. When everyone had thought about United Healthcare Golden Rule in the past, they have always thought for us to be a medical and ancillary carrier under 65. And mm -hmm. that is no longer the case because within the last six, seven months, we've launched five new products in ancillary portfolio that work in the senior market space. So I know many of you probably do work in the senior space. <laughs> so <laughs> excited to share that with you. And then an opportunity to earn some extra cash through a bonus we have going on. So just backing up a little bit, what is short term and try term um, for those, again, who haven't used it or that do want a little refresher? Um, this product is in the marketplace under 65 as a non-compliant ACA plan. Um, it is does not include all of the minimum essential coverages like maternity, mental health, and therefore it can be potentially a lower cost alternative to ACA. Um, it is also medically underwritten, so it helps United Healthcare control costs and keep the premiums down, again, making it potentially a, an alternate to ACA. Um, it is a deductible coinsurance co co style plan. So they have a deductible, coinsurance, a max out of pocket. So the big um, thing for me that helped me real understand this is that medical word. So because we talk a lot about short-term care on, on the senior side. So whenever we see short-term or tri-term medical, that's going to pertain to that under 65? Correct. Yep. Okay. Under 65 medical option, right? Everybody's so familiar with ACA because it's guarantee issued. It provides potential subsidies for individuals, but not everybody's subsidy eligible. Um and not everybody wants to conform maybe to an HMO or an EPO network. These two plans that we offer have a nationwide United Healthcare network. That's what makes them such a great opportunity for, you know, snowbirders, those that are full-time RVers, somebody who's traveling a lot for work or pleasure. Um, it's an option that they can use the product not only in, say, Arkansas, but all the way to California. California, Wisconsin, where I am. Um, it could be Florida, Texas, New York, wherever they may want to go to seek out care. They can use any provider nationwide. That's exciting. I have an RVer on this training. I can see his name. <laughs> ah, that's always a good one. Um, so short term, again, we're not going through the product training. I just wanted to quickly show you the brochure um, 
snip of the plans that we offer. Again, we can go through a deep dive training if it is something that you feel is beneficial to your business. Um, one thing to point out why these plans are a little bit less expensive than ACA is they short-term medical does not cover pre-existing conditions. So this is a plan that typically is like, hey, I'm healthy. I'm not getting a large ACA subsidy or I'm getting none. Um, and I need a nationwide network. I just want it for you know something new that happens to me. This could be a great plan for them. Um, our best seller is the Plus Elite plan that you'll see here um, with one of the stars. And that's just because after a deductible is met, um, their coinsurance is 100%. So they have a deductible, 100% uh, coinsurance. Uh, whereas the other alternative um, or bestseller is the value plan that you'll see on the far right hand side. Um, it does have some coinsurance, but it's the lowest cost option that we offer. Again, short term, typically um, one to 12 months of coverage at a time. Um, and those are our best sellers. And then as it relates to tri term, Try meaning three, means three years of coverage, though in South Carolina, it's just 33 months. So we're, we're three months shy of three years. So TriTerm becomes a huge product that's getting a lot of attention right now because of this ruling, because it's three years of protection to a consumer. Um, being that it's a three-year plan, it does cover pre-existing conditions after a 12-month wait but I will say underwriting is a little stricter, right? We know that, you know, in years two and three of the plan, we are covering pre-ex. So we are still looking for somewhat healthy individuals to be on this plan. Um, and then the copay plan is our absolute by far best seller. Um, I think what makes it appealing is it's the lowest cost option here. Um, and it also provides for copays to a consumer prior to their deductible. So if you remember pre-ACA days, a lot of consumers liked copays. So it kind of gets them back into that mode of copays in that plan option. So again, that's what short-term and tri-term is. Deductible, coinsurance, um, and we kind of talked about who is like an ideal customer for it. Again, people who have been utilizing these plans since the inception of ACA, January of 2014, um, they've been using it, again, lower cost alternative to maybe they're getting little to no ACA premium subsidy. They, they deem ACA to be too expensive. Um, maybe they're outside of an ACA open enrollment, right? We're, we are not in an open enrollment right now for ACA. So someone has to have a qualifying life event and they might not have one. So they need something that's going to get them to January 1 of 2025. Um, another reason why I say when they can't access ACA, yeah, we're not in open enrollment, but a lot of times it's network, honestly. Um, network can be a huge challenge with ACA being HMOs or EPOs, and this is a true nationwide network that works for them um, coast to coast. The other thing that has always kind of been the go-to for customers is always gaps in time that you'll see here on the far right-hand side, you know, bridging someone to January 1 of 2025, maybe they're, you know, between group and cover, group coverage, um, or they started at an employer, they have 30, 60, 90-day wait period before they can start those benefits. Um, and then as you had mentioned earlier, early retirees, right? The trailing spouses types of situation. You have, you know, somebody who's aged into Medicare and you put him on a Medicare plan, but what about the spouse? Uh, she may have a couple of months or a couple of years before she's Medicare eligible. And therefore, this can be a good alternative maybe for them to look at, um, to bridge them to Medicare. Um, a lot of times too, these can be lower cost alternatives to COBRA if they left an employer. So that's mm -hmm. kind of just a little bit about what short-term is and who it's ideal for. Um, so I didn't know if you wanted to go through a couple questions before we go through the short-term ruling. Um, I, I did have a question about how many times sure. it can be renewed, but I okay. feel like that has to do with the ruling. Does it? Well, and so currently today, um, the, even though like the short term can be one to 12 months in most states and the tri term is three years, what happens is the Department of Insurance for each state determines how they want that product to play out in that state. So many of our states do allow the customer to 
rewrite a new plan year after year after year. We've had long haulers on these short term and tri term plans for a very long time. Um, but there are some states that will say, you know what, to come back on to another short term, you've got to have a 64 day break in time, or you need to have a six month break in time. So it's important to understand those state specific rules that may apply to you in some of the states that you work in. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the presentation, I can show you where you can find that grid that will help you understand. But you're right. Um, I do feel like the short term ruling is going to change our environment. Um, and that back to back, that long hauler, like I said, so many consumers, for whatever that reason may be, wanting to stay away from ACA for whatever reason, um, being on this as a long haul is going to change real quickly here. Um, and that's because of what had happened recently with a short term ruling. Now, in April of this year, United Healthcare had sent out this similar type message to let you know um, that a federal ruling has touched the short term and tri term products. And we just wanted you to know what is coming. And we have a game plan that we're trying to get together for all of you who are currently writing these for long haulers, but I just wanted to bring you up to speed. The federal ruling basically said, as of September 1, um, the short-term plans will be three months with one month extension. So that means short-term will no longer make sense as a long haul, if September 1 and beyond, you can only have four months, right? Three plus one mm -hmm. with United Healthcare in a rolling 12 month time period. That, that no longer becomes a good option. It's no longer what I would say ideal for somebody who is trying to stay away from ACA for whatever reason that may be. So again, September 1, Short term falls back to three months plus a one month extension. So four months total with a given carrier in a rolling 12 month time period. Um, what that also means is with tri term being a three year product, it then also makes tri term no longer existent. Oh. Coming September 1, tri term will no longer be available for new business sales. So what we do encourage if you have long haulers who've been doing short term back to back to back year after year or tri term back to back every three years, we do encourage movement to tri term right now or in the month of August. So that way you can put your client on this plan for three years of protection. And then we'll see what the market looks like in three years, right? You, you never know. Uh, it, this fall is an election year and it could definitely change the landscape of these products if there's an administration change. Um, so again, we do encourage that if you do have long haulers who are for whatever reason, staying away from ACA. Uh, what we will do, be doing is uh, in a couple weeks, we're going to push out our quote and enroll window 150 days. So what that means is, you know, today you can quote and enroll somebody 90 days in advance. Oh. Um, but in, a, in approximately two weeks, we're going to push out that quote and enroll window to be 150 days in advance. So really the key date for me and knowing our 150 day quote and enroll in advance date is really August 3rd because August 3rd then is the very first day that you can quote and enroll somebody for a December 31st, 2024 effective date, right? So August 3rd, sell a try term that starts December 31st for three years. It will take that client all the way through 2025, 2026, and 2027. And then if, you know, there is an administration change, who knows what's going to happen in those three years that could potentially make our world look a little bit different um, and maybe bring back the short-term or tri-term options. Like that's what had happened when we had switched from Obama administration to Trump administration. Obama administration had pushed these on a three-month time frame and Trump brought them back um, to 12 months and then also gave us the ability to launch a brand new product tri-term. So we'll see what that means. Um, 
But what I really wanted to share as it relates to the short-term ruling is right, right here on the far left-hand side, you're going to see that tri-term product. Um, it's going to be post-September 1, uh, if I put a car analogy to it, a car that will no longer start. It will no longer be an option. So buy now, um, protect them now before September 1. And then September 1, in the middle is your short term that then is three plus one, four months. Uh, we almost want to look at it as, you know, you jumped in this vehicle and you're on a ride to, you know, maybe ACA open enrollment or to Medicare and all of a sudden you ran out of gas, right? You're, you're not getting a client from point A to point B, whether that, you know, point A is now and B is ACA open enrollment four months is not enough typically, um, or maybe it's to get them to Medicare age. Four months is likely not going to be a vehicle that you're going to want to use. Um, the far right-hand side, though, is the product post-September one that we will focus our efforts on um, as that health protector guard plan that you see. It is a vehicle that you could put your client in, basically, that will get them from point A to B. Uh, it is a product that is uh, guaranteed renewable up to age 65. So that kind of just gives you an idea of the short-term ruling. Um, I kind of was looking at the question box to see if there was any popping up, but um, you know, are there any other questions before I kind of explain what Health Protector Guard is as an option to you all on the phone today? I don't see any further questions coming through right now. I think I'm just trying to re <laughs> understand Rack everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything you just said. Um, but agents on the training, please, if you have questions, this is the the time to ask them. I know sometimes there can be a little delay. So I'll give you a moment. And and Stephen, if you want to comment what state you're in, uh, we can see your state rules at the end of the presentation. Um, but the, the main takeaway is that the tri-term is going away September 1st, but there is still great opportunity to write those, what, June, July, and August? Yep. Um, all the and way through August 30th is the last date that we will allow. I know that sounds weird because September 30 or August 31st, why can't I sell it a product that day? Because next day effective date would put that September one. So your last day to sell um, a tri term or a short term for 12 months um, in those states that it has that would be August 30th. And Stephen, um, the state of Texas is very flexible and that's one of our favorite states. Florida and Texas are one of our top two uh, selling states for pretty much everything we sell. So Stephen, in the state of Texas, short term is 12 months, tri term is 36 months, so three years. And you could always have done a rewrite as many times as you wanted to back to back to back, right? But with the short term rule, that will change that future environment. Right. Right. And so let me just I did have um I don't know if she's on today, but uh Carolyn in Florida had asked me I think it was a few days ago if this final rule was absolutely final or if there could still be some changes to come out. No, it is absolutely final. Earlier this year it was we weren't quite sure of the language, uh, but in late March, we got the final verbiage. Um, and then it took our legal compliance team some time to figure out what is that, what is our interpretation of that final rule and how do we have to implement that? So it is a final rule. Um, there will be no modification to it at this point forward. Um, and therefore, that is why we wanted to bring awareness to the to this situation for all of you. Mm -hmm. um, and I know Blanca had put a question out there as to ideal clients. So typically when you're thinking about these three products, short-term, tri-term, and health protector guard, they are for the clients that um, are under 65. Uh, for some reason, ACA just doesn't make sense for them. Maybe it's they're getting little to no ACA premium subsidy. Maybe ACA is deemed too expensive. Uh, maybe ACA doesn't provide the network that they need, uh, whereas it's maybe restrictive to an HMO or EPO or geographic or state-based network, and they really need a nationwide network. Those are all reasons that someone might consider these types of options. I hope that makes sense for you, Blanca. 
Yeah, I'm excited to see the what is health protector guard. Yeah. So he's yeah, so September 1, uh, because short, tri-term will be gone and short-term will be four months, uh, wouldn't encourage that for any long haulers. I do not want customers having to go through uh, new underwriting every four months um, and having a new deductible co-insurance every four months. And therefore, we uh, will be focusing a lot of our efforts on our Health Protector Guard plan which is fixed indemnity. Uh, fixed indemnity basically means a set dollar amount is paid out for set services, kind of like a hospital indemnity plan that many of you might be familiar with in the senior market space. Mm -hmm. um, the beauty of the Health Protector Guard is it's first dollar coverage because there's no deductible. Um, and it's, again, medically underwritten, but once we issue coverage, it is renewable all the way to age 65. So they could be, you know, 26 year old now, and they could actually keep this vehicle all the way up to age uh, 65. Um, but again, the biggest thing that works so well for United Healthcare on these, you know, core medical options under 65 is our network. Um, with this plan, the customer is getting the United Healthcare PPO network that we use on the group side of our business. It is the largest network in the nation. I've worked here at United Healthcare for 25 years, this October 26. I've done my research pre-ACA days and now post-ACA days. This is the largest network out there. Um, 1.5 million physicians your customer would have access to from coast to coast. And 85% of the hospitals nationwide are in the network, 85%. That means over 7,000 hospitals. Um, Stephen, being in Texas, we have MD Anderson in Houston um, in our network, which is a huge cancer uh, facility that's in our network. It's not in any ACA network that I've seen. Um, so outside of it being the largest network, it's the significant savings. We use this, again, and many aspects of United Healthcare business. So we have a lot of buying power. Um, we're average uh, repricing of claims is 56%. That's huge. So we're saying when you get this plan and you seek out coverage from an in-network provider on average, we're gonna reprice that claim immediately down by about 56%. That's big. Mm -hmm. um, and what the you know fixed indemnity plan does, again, just a couple snips of your plan grid from your product brochure. Um, it pays out a set dollar amount for set services. And it's not just hospital. As you can see on the very top, um, that first row hospital confinement, $1,000 to $5,000 per day. If they were in ICU, they, they get those benefits in addition to hospital. So if it was our premier plan, which is one of our good sellers, it would be $10,000 in ICU. So 5,000 because they're in the hospital and additional 5,000 because they're in ICU. So that's $10,000. And then on top of that, that third row is their hospital admission benefit. So just being admitted to the hospital right away, they're getting a $3,000 cash to them. Um, but again, you will see it's not just hospital. You've got emergency room, you've got ambulance, um, you have surgery and outpatient facility is. You've got kind of your lab and x-ray down below, some chemo and radiation. Um, and then we do have a separate surgical schedule that you can see uh, on that premier plan. If it was a top end surgery, they're going to get $50,000 on top of that, an additional $10,000 for their assistant surgeon. And on top of that, 15,000 for their anesthesiologist. So a tier one surgery with an assistant surgeon and an anesthesiologist is $75,000 that will pay out to the client. Um, and again, not just hospital and surgical related, you've got all these other um, items that come into play, which is your preventive services, your office visits, your therapies, uh, and then you got prescriptions at the very, very bottom. The biggest thing is the United Healthcare Network, the United Healthcare Network repricing. And then, as you can see at the bottom, the prescriptions, uh, name brand drugs is a $60 per fill, but they're also getting Optum Perks, which is another benefit of United Healthcare, 30 to 80% discount on prescriptions. So, that's really what I wanted to share as it relates to the uh, Health Protector Guard plan. I'm gonna quickly go through kind of our ancillary awareness too. 
um, before uh, we get to the top of the hour. And that would just be, a, again, because most often brokers looked at United Healthcare Golden Rule as an under 65 carrier. Mm -hmm. And yes, that was true. But now what we have done is we've marched into the ancillary space for the senior market. So you'll see of all of these six plans here on the screen, they work under 65 as well as over 65. And you will also see that we do have some guarantee issued coverages in the senior market space too. So all of these come with guarantee issued options. Um, example, dental and vision, uh, 18 to 99. Obviously those are guarantee issued. Um, and then your critical illness, uh, 18 to 90, but the guarantee issued is 18 to 74. So again, for critical illness that works in the senior market space on a guarantee issued basis. And then you also have accident, uh, 18 to 74, that is guarantee issued. And then similar to what we've been talking about, hospital indemnity plans, I did kind of talk to you about one of them, um, but to get us into the Medicare space, we've got a huge product that launched September of last year, just before Medicare AEP, and that's called Advantage Guard. It's called Advantage Guard because it's meant to be attached to a Medicare Advantage plan. Mm -hmm. Advantage Guard is a senior market guarantee issue all the way um, up to age 74 hospital plan. So if you have not been selling or are aware of us having this as an available option, I do encourage you take a look at what we do have to offer um, because it is a significant win-win for you as a broker. Just as you were mentioning earlier, um, cross-selling is huge. It's a big win for the client because it's lessening their gaps in coverage. It's helping to lower their out-of-pocket costs um, and protect their financial savings. But it's also giving you as a broker better uh, client persistency and a way to increase your compensation. So kind of talking about ways to increase your compensation with the ancillary is also then our bonus program that we have going on. Um, so I don't know if you have, we have just one minute left. Is that what we have? Uh, I mean, we're, we have a lot of questions coming through, so we'll definitely get all okay. of the questions. Sorry, answered, I was speeding but... through the last portion of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're fine. I'm going to let you finish with the bonus and then we'll start asking questions. Perfect. So again, sorry, I sped through the last portions of it, but if you do have questions, I'm going to provide to you guys all my contact information. But the current bonus that we have going on um, started May 1st. It goes through August 31st. So ideal for you that are working on this short-term buy now, try-term buy now strategy, you'll see um, a tri-term copay plan, which is our best-selling tri-term, $700 bonus if your client is paying with EFT. Um, that's huge. But what we do ask in this time period of four months, May, June, July, and August, that you have a minimum of 20 applications. Uh, again, not clients, applications, and we will pay you out this bonus back to app number one. So if you are doing a tri-term, and also selling a dental with it, maybe an accident or critical illness, that would be four applications, right? Tri-term, dental, accident, critical, four applications for one client already working towards your 20 minimum. And you'll see the associated payout dollar amount that we have per product. So again, tri-term bestseller is the copay plan, um, $700 with EFT, short terms if you're going to do the 12 months for your rewrites of the long haulers um it would be a 50 dollars and then all of these ancillary options that again work in the senior space if you guys have a lot of medicare clients you can go back to them with the accident critical illness um, hospital plan that we have which is the advantage guard um, dental so that you can increase your compensation that way um and then lastly, before we get to Q&A is, you know, why consider United Healthcare, uh, largest health insurance carrier in the United States, number five in uh, Fortune 500, uh, A plus superior by AM Best and over 80 years experience in this individual market space and now marching into the senior space. Um, the biggest thing here, as I would say, especially for those working in the senior market space, is we now have a quote and enroll tool 
that allows the broker to submit the application 100% on behalf of the client, just like you can do in the Medicare space. Um, you can do the quote, do the application, submit the application, and your client does not have to do anything. Um, the broker portal, though, I will tell you is different than, say, Jarvis that you use for Medicare um, with United Healthcare or Jarvis that you use for United Healthcare for ACA. This is a separate appointment through United Healthcare Golden Rule, um, and we brand ourselves United Health One. So that's why you'll see the website is uh one dot com forward slash broker where as I mentioned earlier we can get you to the brochures the pre-recorded product trainings the products by state grid that will help brokers know you know can you rewrite short terms back to back or how many months duration is available in your specific state um, so that would be the broker portal that we would have available for you um, but I would be happy to answer any questions because I went through that quite fast. I should have shortened the presentation. Um, so I do want to make sure that I'm able to answer any questions and or if you just want to talk through uh, a specific situation or need help with something, I would be more than happy to help in any way I can. We appreciate that so much, Bobby Joe. Thank you. And you did yeah. great through the presentation. I mean, we we record these. And so that way, if someone needs to rewatch it, then they can see the training and then uh, but we are going to open it up for questions. There are um, a few questions. I think most of them uh, pertain to the health guard, health protector, health protector guard. guard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So um, let me just scan through. I'm not good at a multitasking, so I wasn't checking the chat box. Um, but I'll, so, I'll read them out. Yeah. Um, but we'll start um, with an anonymous member. <laughs> It says, so this is short-term health insurance available and will last until open enrollment for ACA? Yeah. So if you sell somebody a short-term medical plan today, um, depending on the state, many of them allow up to 12 months of coverage at a time. Uh, you could essentially put your client in a plan now and just bridge them to January 1 of 2025, depending on how many months that they need. Um, or... Like I did say, if you do have a long hauler and you want to sell a short term plan for all of 2025, you can start doing that in the month of August. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Mike had asked, does the health protector guard also have the 12 month waiting period for pre existing conditions that the short term medical plans have? Yeah, so let me reiterate, short term never ever covers pre-existing conditions. Um, Tri-term has a 12 month wait for pre-existing conditions and then Health Protector Guard does have a 12 month wait for pre-existing conditions as just like the tri-term does. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, this is a great question. I was wondering who was gonna ask this. Skylar had asked, what are the typical premiums? Yeah, so obviously, depending on state and age of the client, premiums can vary so much. And what, you know, what are they looking for as far as a deductible, coinsurance, um, or if it's the health protector guard, are they looking at the lowest product or the richest product? Um, so it's very tough to get specific on this without us kind of quoting and playing around within your state and your age demographic that you're typically working with. Um, but I can tell you on the health protector guard plan, if we just looked at across the entire United States, across all age bands, um, the average of our richest plan, which is the premier plan mm -hmm. is around $250 a month premium. Mm -hmm. But again, 26 year old is going to be way different than a 60 year old. So I would encourage that we get specific and look into the quoting tool. Right. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of variables that can affect that. Mm -hmm. uh, Jane had asked, is there an underwriting guide for this? And do all applicants go through underwriting? Yes. So short term, tri term and health protector guard are medically underwritten. Um, very simple, though, an underwriting. 
And what I would encourage is underneath the brochures, sales tools, and training tab of your United Health One portal, um, underneath the brochures and sales tools is where you're going to find your producer guides or the medical questions that you're going to need to answer for your clients. And typically, if they're going to answer yes, they're going to be an auto decline. So we're typically declining out somebody um, in the last five years is our look back period. And it's typically things like cancer, heart attack, stroke, um, bigger items that we're typically can, uh, uh, declining them for. But I would encourage, you know, checking the producer guides, your applications for medical questions, or we're always here to help you kind of do a pre-screen and get more comfortable with the underwriting process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know that I know that our agents appreciate that and and love being able to look at those questions themselves as well. Um, and then I kind of wanted to to point out, you know, you said that you know this these products are a different portal, and in saying that, I want to let everyone know that these products are also a separate contract. So if you're not contracted, I want to say with Golden Rule is the easiest way to say that, right? Yep. Um please reach out to us here at elder care so we can help you get set up with these products. And then as well as United healthcare, having their amazing agent services, we help you as well. So if you ever need help getting into the portals or supplies or things like that, elder care is always here to help you as well. And then I kind of wanted to, to throw back to that bonus a little bit too, sure, because that is, that's huge. So technically if I was a broker, I would be setting myself a goal for that 20 by August 31st Correct. is like the cutoff for that tri-term product plus Correct. bonus. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I would definitely yep, you can sell tri-terms through August 30th. You can sell short terms through August 30th, um, but everything else. We, all of these products that we talked about are available all year round, everything that we sell, except for then the changes with tri-term um, going away September 1, uh, well, I should say August 31st, and then short-term, short, shortening that duration uh, eligible. But otherwise, yes, everything else that we offer is available all year round. We're not dealing with special open enrollment periods or annual enrollment periods. Yes, absolutely. And I, I kind of want to put the plug into, I mean, if you're not already using Medicare Center, there's a new feature on there that that tags your clients um, as a cross sell opportunity. So I would definitely be logging in there and seeing which clients are tagged as that opportunity and then letting them know about these products that you can offer them. Um, I did have a question um, from Stephen he said that what he's understanding is they're not there's not a limit other than age as to how long someone can have the health protector guard. Correct. So once we um, to purchase the plan, health protector guard, they must be over the age of 18 and under the age of 65. Once we issue coverage for that client, it is guaranteed renewable to age 65. Okay. So there's not like they have to keep writing it every year. It's just going to keep renewing as long as they're paying those premiums. Yeah, which was a challenge with the short term, especially like the long haulers. Um, every year they had to go through a new application and new underwriting or like try term every three years, new application, new underwriting. That does not happen with Health Protector Guard. You get them issued into the coverage and there's nothing they need to do. It just auto renews up to age 65. At age 65, it does end. And then um, the, the big difference between the the medical plans and the indemnity is that the indemnity is an indemnity, meaning it's just cash into the the client's bank account. Correct. Um, so short term and tri term, it's deductible co-insurance and a max out of pocket, and you're typically working your claims through your providers. Now, Health Protector Guard, uh, it is a set dollar amount for set services. It does not coordinate with other insurance, so um, it's potential that the customer may get paid a 
higher amount um, than what the claim really was. Because again, we don't coordinate. So it just says if we have to pay you $10,000 a night in ICU, that's what we're paying you. But I will say this by default, Health Protector Guard um, does get paid to the provider or facility by default, unless the customer wants that money to go directly to them. Um, and the reason that we do that is it's the provider that's submitting the claim to us. Um, you, you, they get an ID card. They use it just like normal insurance. Show your ID card. The provider or facility submits the claim to United Healthcare, so we can reprice it for that average 56% discount. And then we'll typically go ahead and pay the provider or facility with any overage paying directly to the client. So, you know, there could be situations where the clients do get checks in the mail. Um, and then that would be something safe for them to cash. Cause I get calls all the time. Like my client got a check in the mail. What was that for? Uh, it's overage so they can cash it. But if they do not want us paying the provider or facility for them, they can go ahead and assign all benefits to themselves and they can then manage their bills with their provider or facility. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm glad I asked that. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. It works out good that way. So they don't have to worry about paying the doctor. Yeah. Uh, many people don't want to process their own claims. <laughs> um, so this is a way they don't do it. We'll do it for them if they want. That's awesome. Uh, Stephen had asked, could you have this plan on top of an ACA plan? Like they have a very basic ACA plan, but what more coverage? Would that be acceptable? Yeah, typically in that situation, then you're going to see the plan design be not as rich. So typically the choice, the low end product and or the select are the two that are sold alongside of like an ACA or a group plan. Um, it's, you know, the other high plans are typically when they're sold in and by themselves, which I wouldn't encourage Health Protector Guard being sold in and by itself. Um, when that does happen and somebody's looking to buy, say, that premier plan instead of an ACA, always, always encourage at least 20000 in accident and then also having a critical illness plan attached to it. So you should... If selling Health Protector Guard as a, a core option, um, it should always be Health Protector Guard with accident and critical illness and always trying to get to the highest critical illness benefit you can within the customer's budget. So we start at 100,000 and you can work your way back, um, but I would not encourage uh, the Health Protector Guard plot product by itself always with accident and critical illness. Um, and if it is being sold with ACA or group, then you typically see that choice or select option being chosen. Very good advice. Thank you for that question, Stephen. And if you, um, if anyone else, I know we're a little over and I see quite a few still on. So thank you so much uh, for staying on this long and asking <laughs> your questions. We appreciate you taking the time. We do these every Thursday, 10 a.m. So if there's any additional training that you're wanting on any of these certain products, let us know. We do these topics based on your suggestions. So just please communicate that with us. And thank you so much, Bobby Joe, for, yeah. for being on. I know it was a process. It was <laughs> Te definitely technical wise, <laughs> but we are so happy that you were here and, and to teach us about golden rule. <laughs> yeah, I say I'm happy UH to be one here. so bad, but I'm trying to say golden rule. And hopefully this has inspired you brokers to know what you have access to if you already have this contract with us. And then also, you know, inspire you to get contracted with this uh pro products. So you can also be filling some gaps for those those clients you might be leaving money on the table with. So so. Thank you again, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much and happy of a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.